A linear time invariant causal system, or just a linear system, or linear time invariant system, um, those can be given by, uh, the output of the systems can be given by uh, difference equations. That is, the output depends upon current input, past inputs, and past values and or past values of outputs multiplied by some factor and those values can be represented in terms of addition or subtraction in general we call it a difference equation so as you can see over here this is a difference equation yn plus a1 yn minus 1 plus a2 yn minus 2 so on and so forth b naught xn plus b1 xn minus 1 plus b2 x1 minus 2 so x of course is the input y is the output if it is n minus n naught that's the previous sample whether it's the output previous sample or input previous sample a b um, those are the gains or coefficients of the input and output respectively so output of a system linear time invariant uh, causal system in general is represented by this equation 3.1 output is uh, sum of all the inputs the current input and the previous inputs and uh, this should be zero actually I made a mistake over here I will fix it this should be zero from zero to n because it will be b naught x n which is the first value right here so I will fix it but make sure this is j is equal to zero to n uh, so the output basically is uh, the sum of input and the previous samples of the input multiplied by their uh, specific coefficients minus the sum of previous outputs multiplied by the specific their specific coefficient previous outputs means that if if at some if you're calculating the second sample of the output and the second sample value depends on the previous sample that you have already calculated in the last step then of course that has to be considered when you're calculating the current value of the uh, output or the second sample of the output uh, so that's the difference equation and this is the general form of the difference equation for any linear time invariant causal system so let's look at this example so you have linear time invariant causal system input is xn output is 0.5 xn plus 0.7 xn minus 1 plus 0.9 xn minus 2 so the output depends upon the current input multiplied by the coefficient 0 0.5 which was b naught past input xn minus 1 multiplied by its coefficient b1 0 0.7 and another past input xn minus 2 with the coefficient of 0 0.9 which is b2 so here i'm saying that what will be the value of the output if your input xn that you are sending it has a it is a vector with the values of 4 7 and 2 when n is equal to 0 n is equal to 1 n is equal to 2 and for rest of the values of n the input is 0 right so that's my input so what is my output we can use the difference equation to calculate the output so y of 0 will be equal to 0.5 x of 0 right here plus 0.7 you put n is equal to 0 here that will be x of negative 1 plus 0.9 you put n is equal to 0 x of negative 2 and since x of negative 1 x of negative 2 all are 0 because x is only non-zero for n is equal to 0 1 and 2 then these values will be considered at 0 and the output is going to be 0 0.5 times x of 0 which is 4 so that's going to give you 0 0.5 times 4 2 the second sample of the output y of 1 0 0.5 times x of 1 0 0.7 times x of 1 minus 1 which is 0 and 0 0.9 times x of 1 minus 2 which is negative 1 so this negative 1 is going to be 0 and then you're going to put 0 0.5 times x of 1 x of 1 is 7 so 0 0.5 times 7 right here uh, made a mistake over here no all oh right here 0 0.5 times 7 and then um, x of 0 is 4 so 0 0.7 times 4 6.3 so that's how you're going to calculate 
rest of the samples and when you will calculate them you will see that it's going to go up to x of 4 non zero values and after x of 4 starting from x of uh, sorry not x of 4 y of 4 uh, starting from y of 5 the value of output is going to become zero because now you will exceed the last value of x so now in your equation you will have x of 5 x of 4 x of 3 and in the next equation you will have x of 6 x of 5 x of 4 so those values of x is x are zero so the output is going to be zero so your output is going to be non zero for n is equal to 0 1 2 3 4 when x is non zero for 0 1 and 2 so that's how you are calculating the output of the function using difference equation okay now this is another uh, example same same concept the only difference is that your output depends upon one of the past sample of your output so your output depends on 0 0.9 y n minus 1 so the best sample of the output so you do the same thing but in this case you are also considering y of n minus 1 so when n is equal to 0 you have 0 0.9 y of minus 1 now observe that I'm giving you some initial conditions over here these are called initial conditions so I'm giving you that x of negative 1 is 1 and y of negative 1 is 2 so whenever you have x of negative 1 you're going to use 1 for that like in the last one we use 0 and uh, whenever you have y of negative 1 you're going to use 2 for that and this is going to be for n x is equal to 3 6 for n is equal to 0 1 and 0 otherwise 0 otherwise means all the other values of n except whatever values are given to you that is not for x of negative 1 x of negative 1 is given to you but it's going to be 0 for any value of n greater than 1 and any value of 1 less than negative 1 okay so you're going to calculate that and you will see that when your output depends on the previous any previous um, sample of the output then your output is going to be an infinite sequence it's not going to become zero like it became zero in the last one after a specific value of n and all the other values will, uh, were zero when your output depends on any past sample of the output then it is going to be an infin infinite sequence it will keep on going it's going to start it may start going down if it's a stable uh, system the value of the output will start going down as n increases but it's not going to become zero until it will hit infinity at infinity it will hit zero if the value values keep on going down but it's going to become an infinite sequence if the output of the system depends upon its past sample and of course you have the input past sample but that that won't make the sequence to be infinite what makes the sequence to be infinite is if it depends on the past value of the output okay